Hi everyone, what do you have here is the iSteady M6 gimbal kit from Hohem. This is one of the best gimbal you could buy for 2024. This gimbal has so many features, especially the AI vision sensor here with the field light. It's amazing. It will track you and your videos. I can't wait to try it out. But first, let's check out the gimbal. Here's the gimbal carrying case. Whole hem is pretty awesome. They always include a carrying case with the gimbal. It's easy to travel with the gimbal because a lot of other manufacturers, what they do is they give you a pouch and you know, the pouch is not ideal because it could damage the gimbal. Uh, this case is very solid. All right. Let's Open up the case, see what we have here with the in the kit. Get the manual for the gimbal. Here's a uh, mini tripod. This is a uh, USB type C to USB type C charging cable for your phone. And here's the USB type C to type A charging cable for the gimbal. And this is the AI vision sensor with the fuel light. The gimbal is made out of hard plastic, feel very sturdy in the hand, very premium. In the front, you have the OLED display, the joystick, the shutter bunt to uh, take pictures and for recording. And this is the zoom level. On the right side, you have the power bunt, the USB type C charging port to charge the gimbal. And on the left is the multi-function control roller right here. You have the A and B bunt. This is for motion time lab. On the back is a trigger. This is the locking latch for the pan motor. This is the roll motor and right here is the tilt motor. This is the phone clamp. The Isolated M6 have a payload of 400 grams. That's a lot of weight it can handle thanks to the three powerful motor. In addition to that is the four a quarter by 20 UNC port that you attach all your accessories to. There's one on the right of the gimbal handle, one on the tilt arm, which is right here. Another one is on the roll arm. And of course, the bottom for mounting the tripod. The gimbal will give you up to 18 hours of recording time. That's pretty amazing. And it does have reverse charging technology where you could actually use the gimbal to charge your phone. Just in case you know you run low on battery and you know you're almost done with your recording, you can actually plug your phone into the gimbal to charge it. There's a charging port on the the tilt arm right here, a USB Type C, and you use the included cable right here, the USB Type C to USB Type C to plug into the gimbal into your phone to charge it. To attach the AI vision fuel light to the gimbal, 
there's two magnet on the bottom of the fuel light and there's contact for the gimbal or you just place right on top of the phone holder phone clamp just like that pretty simple right and to turn it on there's a switch on the side just switch it on and see the red LED light and it flashes a couple of times that mean it's on to turn on the fuel light press on the bunt on the multi-function roller and hold it to turn the fuel light on and you could change the brightness by turning the roller just like that back and forth to change the brightness then click on the roller bunt for color temperature and then if you press on the roller bunt three times you get the RGB light and then you just control the roller back and forth to get different color and click it once for the brightness if you press on the multi-function roller bunt twice you'll be in row mode to where you could actually tilt the phone back and forth just like that pretty awesome huh without using a app with this A and B bundle here to set up the time lapse. That's pretty awesome. To start the time lapse, you use the joystick here on the gimbal to move the camera to the beginning point. And then click and press on the A button and hold. When you hear the beep sound, that means set. Now move, use the joystick, move the camera to the end point and press and hold on the B button until you hear a beep, that means set. And if you want to go to the beginning, point one, just click on the A button once. It will move to the beginning and then you want to time lapse from A to B, just tap on B button twice and you will start to see the gimbal start moving right there that's pretty awesome look at that and on here will tell you on the OLED display it would show that it's going to point B on the screen it's pretty cool that they have the OLED display right here so you can see what the gimbal is doing and when you change in different mode like the you know pen follow pen to follow you can actually see on the screen for other gimbals a lot of other gimbal all you have just all they have just the LED light indicator so you have to remember which LED it's for what mode this one is just display on the screen that's pretty awesome now if you want to go back to the starting point just tap on the bunt a bunt twice now it's going to go back to uh, point A. And it'll take a minute to go from point A to point B. That's the, the preset uh, time. But you could use the whole hem app to go into the app and change the time lapse uh, duration. It goes up to, I think, an hour. So you could go in there. If you're going to use the app, you could go in there and change the, the time setting in the app.
All right, let's uh, check out the different mode on the gimbal. Right now we're on the pan and follow, which you could pan back and forth where it's gonna follow. And the other motor are lock in place. This is the pan tilt follow. See, you can pan back and forth and it'll follow and tilt. And it'll follow. But the row axis is locked. This is lock. So all the motor are lock. So it doesn't matter how you move. It's going to be locked in one frame. And this is going to be the point of view mode, the POV. Every, it's free up all the motor. So it will follow everywhere. You tilt, you pan, you roll. And there's a sport mode where you uh, Hold on to the trigger in the back for sport mode. It's for like quick action recording. You hold, it's called sport mode. Press on the trigger and just hold it and then just move the gimbal real fast and it will follow pretty quick. And it's the joystick here, you can move left, right, up, down. And here's the zoom lever. The zoom lever. You can zoom in and out. And the record button. Press to record and press to stop recording. You can snap pictures with it, switch the photo. You will take a picture by pressing once. To activate the inception mode, just push on the mode button right here, the M button, three times to activate inception mode. And we will start spinning until you stop it because there's no limit a lot of other gimbal what it is is there's a limit it's called power spin max like 360 degree but there's no limit to the m6 check that out it's pretty cool huh and then to stop it just click on the trigger twice It's pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's test out my favorite feature of the M6 gimbal is the AI vision sensor. To activate it, just put the OK sign right in front of the sensor. And now it's activated. Let's move back and forth. Check that out. Works, it's working pretty good. pretty fast. Stop it. Put your hand, palm right in front, and it stops. Pretty good. Start again. And it actually start and stop pretty quick too. There's no lag. Okay. It's pretty awesome. pretty quick if you want to record in portrait mode while in landscape mode real quick just tilt the gimbal to the right and there you go but 
the pen motor and the roll motor is not going to be active. What you could do is use the tilt motor to pan back and forth like that. To go back, just bring up the gimbal and it's back to uh, normal. To take a selfie, press on the trigger button three times, just like that, and now do you take a selfie. Three times to go back. And if you want to record in wide angle mode, this phone right here I have it doesn't have that feature, so you're not going to see. Usually, if you take a wide angle video, what happens is you're going to see the roll motor right here on the camera. So, what if that happened? What you could do, you could press on the trigger button, the trigger four times to flip the motor to the back, so it's out of the way of the camera, just like that four times. Now. The mode is behind, the cam is in the front, now uh, it's not in the way of your video. Just click the trigger four times to go back. It's pretty awesome, huh? Look at that. Magic. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to the channel for new videos update. I will have more videos on the M6 gimbal using the whole Enjoy app. So please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell to get the new videos update for the M6 gimbal. See you guys in the next video.